there, my name is Mrs. K. Gilcrest with AmazingClassroom.com and I just wanted to let you know how much Amazing Classroom has made my life as far as teaching goes and filling out forms so much better. Every week I fill out behavior reports for my students by hand and it takes me at least an hour. And I send them home religiously because parents look forward to seeing them and keeping on top of whether their child has any missing assignments and so forth. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do in your amazing classroom um, page here. So you log in first and once you log in you get a math testing menu to add your students. Um, even if you're not going to use the math testing feature you need to make sure that you have your amount of students added in the system. I've added 10 students already. I'm going to go ahead and add another five. Okay. Click continue, and of course I'm using artificial students here. So I'm entering them in and I'm just tabbing. And when I get to the last one here, I'm going to click save. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my website update and up at the very top you'll see forms with the word new by it. When you click on that, you can have a drop, you're going to have a drop down bar to choose which form you want or you can just click on one of the pictures. We have a monthly calendar, student list chart, and we also have B's behavior reports, kids and superheroes which are all cute Thistle Girl designs that were purchased and licensed through Thistle Girl. So each behavior report um, comes with two on a page. But I'm going to show you how easy this is. Remember, I'm logged into my account and I have all my students' names entered. So when I click on the behavior report, student's name, the week that I'm sending the report home, which this is the week I'm doing the video, you could change any of this information and your signature all comes up on every child's behavior report already. So no writing there for you. Now what's neat is you have the select one and this makes sure that you select one of these options on both sides. So let's say Lucy's behavior was fantastic. So that little select one box disappeared and she had all of her work turned in on time. And so did Ben. And you notice you don't even have to click in the circle. You just click on the text itself. Some of my, her work was turned in late, but it was turned in. So we go through, and let's go down to Kelly's here. And right here, Kelly, her behavior needed some improvement this week. And when we click on that, we get a box to type in. So Kelly was very talkative this week. Unfortunately, she had to miss recess twice this week because her constant, and notice it'll come up if it's not spelled right, constant talking kept her from being on task and completing her work in a timely manner. Okay? Now, let's see, some of her work was not turned in. Oh, let's late there. Um, going through. And you notice they disappear on each side. And when you get to the end, if you have one of these select one boxes left, it will not let you create the PDF because we don't want you to miss any of your students and then have to go back and do it again. So now I'm finished with the behavior reports. Okay. Let's type in that a student's name was too fake of a fake name there. And we're going to click Create PDF. Okay. And when we do this, I'm just going to click Open. You can also save it. But you can see here how the weekly behavior report comes out to come out on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And they come out with a large X checked in the box that you selected. Has your name, has room for parent signature. And when we get down here to Kelly's report where we had to type in some 
specific information so her parents knew that her behavior was not acceptable. You can see right here, this is the information that we typed. So that comes up on the behavior report as well. And also, if Kelly had unacceptable behavior, then we would also be able to write in that area. So this is just a great quick way. Literally, it took me, after my students were entered, it took me five minutes to do this. And then if I needed to write an additional note or I wanted to put stickers on them because I do that for the children that have um, fantastic behavior, I'll put a little decoration or a stamp of some kind on them too before I send them home. But again, I just wanted to show you this fabulous resource. It is very, very quick and saves me a lot of time. If you have a behavior report that you use um, that's not copyrighted, maybe you've created it and you're an amazing classroom member and you want us to try to incorporate it into this type of template and add some cute graphics to it, then let us know. Um, email it to us at the bottom of our Amazing Classroom homepage. You can click support and send that in and we'll see what we can do to help you out. So again, a great way and fast way to do weekly behavior reports that your students and parents will love. Enjoy.